To another commentary done by Diggy, 12 o'clock location. We have Rancor starting as the Purple Zerg, bottom right hand corner. We have Advil starting as the Brown Terran. A little bit of a bad split there for Rancor. It's actually interesting. So I think it was Age of Empires 2. They had the old end game maps where you saw how civilizations were ramped up again it was you had this ramping right in the overlay graph as far as power spiking maybe it was in civilization i'm not sure but i almost feel like that would be valuable for various players play style and i wish there was something equivalent in starcraft they know it's not exactly that cut and dry but as far as rancor style I would almost visualize it as it's like a huge spike at the front and then it takes a really long, there, there's kind of a long flattening and then another spike up after that. And Advil really capitalizing on kind of that, the difficulty that Rancor has transitioning from uh, early game pressure to late game macro. Advil, I think that's his sweet spot is being able to engage in kind of that early game. I, I, so I, I feel like it's inverted a little bit for Advil which is it's like you got that low bar where he's having some trouble at the beginning dealing with cheeses, things like that. But it looks like he ramps up in the mid game, gets that macro rolling and feels steady from there. So this is going to be on Aztec. This is one of those maps that again, I feel like favors Rancor style of play because you do have that inverted ramp at the natural expansion. And what I'm actually hoping Advil will do is maybe get a little bit more aggressive. Maybe go for uh, double bear, you know, BBS, although it's too late for that. Um, but maybe go for an early timing with medic marine something along those lines if he does open for more of that mech style i think even pulling back and rather than just fully dedicating to attacking that natural expansion if he can get purchase with siege tanks out here because of that inverted ramp because of positioning alongside it point being if you do not control your natural it's you you should expect to lose the game and that's always the case but it's just really hard because of that inverted ramp to reinforce and expect victories with anything that turns fielding so Rancor early aggression on this map could pay off, but I think it could also go the opposite direction just because of uh, things that, you know, standard Terran unit, whatnot. Anyway, Spawning Pool has been dropped. It looks like this was a, I believe, a 12th hatchery build. Gas being grabbed by Rancor as well. First scout by Advil. He is not going to be able to block out the second scout, dropping a second barracks before gas to go a little bit more marine heavy early. So there is potential for one of those... And it looks like he really wants to box that drone out. Unfortunately, the drone able to walk in. So it is going to see the double barracks before gas. And I think, yeah, this is indicative. I hope this is indicative that Advil is opting to go for a little bit more of an aggressive opener uh, sooner rather. Never mind. So showing, so playing a bit of shenanigans here upon having that second barracks spotted, going ahead and canceling it. So loses the minerals, but this might play out where again rancor ends up confused in the early game as far as his early options second hatchery up command center being built however advil in response to this i think he should definitely get a bunker down looks like he's building a supply depot because oftentimes sometimes a response to this is just a flood of zerglings so scv wiped out sees that layer morphing two hatch play from rancor once again and this i guess goes back into that that previous comment where yeah on three player maps it just feels like maybe the reinforcement locations are a little bit maybe this i should pull that back all in mutalisk this is my thought all in mutalisk it's almost advantageous to have a shorter reinforcement point because you don't care about reinforcing exterior bases on larger maps i guess that's my thought of it and three player maps tend to be smaller as far as the distances between uh, map locations looks like a zergling gonna be able to wander up it's gonna see that second expansion in play and i think rancor gonna yeah definitely know what's up but i think he's just playing his game plan it looks like he's got plenty of zerglings gonna go ahead and try to box things out in the meantime and advil very much in the dark as far as the follow-up until that academy goes up and because he delayed gas for such a long period of time it um i don't know it looks like he is still going second barracks behind this but point being it's going to be a while and the layer's already up the spire's already building and i don't know that advil with his build order is going to spot the Mulux. I think he's still going to just build preventative engineering bay. Never mind. He went academy before engineering bay. Uh, so this might be a dangerous situation. A lot of Zerglings flooding down for Rancor. This Zergling looking to see if it can poke around that edge. I don't think Rancor should dive on this just yet, but it definitely looks like he wants to bring these Mutalisks and potentially just swat down this front door, Spire about halfway finished. So it looks like it is going to be that style of play. Academy j just a sliver away from being finished. Some SCVs pulling off the line to potentially defend this front door. So, and it's gonna be two barracks 
worth of Marines, maybe a medic, still no engineering bay as of yet. And the Spire, yeah, two thirds finished. Things getting tense here. I think Rancor, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, so I'd like to hear, what are people's thoughts on that? Like third, three base versus uh, four base maps and all in Mutalisk. Because on four base, it's like you want to have that distance. I don't know, I digress, I'm getting off topic. Cast the actual match. There's the engineering bay looking for that 6.30 timing, but the engineering bay is just now starting and the mutalisks are now being produced. And that is going to be five mutalisks at the very least. Although oftentimes what Zerg will do is they'll wait for the full complement of eight. And there's the compsat. Rancor grabbing the third base behind this, but with all, these Zerglings still have not been spotted. I don't believe, I don't think they, I mean, these four Zerglings have been noticed. Marines surrounding that bunker currently. There's still an opportunity if Rancor micros this just absolutely amazingly that he could just bust down the front door. So there's six. Usually 6.30 is the mark that Terran look for as far as dealing with incoming Mutalisk play. There's turrets being built alongside the corner. Natural expansion grabbing a turret as well. If the Zerklings take down that turret, that will open up a lot along that corner. Five Mutalisks diving in. It looks like Advil does have the turrets in time, so he's pretty well defended now. Getting his third barracks was a little bit concerned uh, with the delay. And not a lot of turret coverage here. So it looks like Rancor finding a pocket where this turret not covering that back line and able to get a lot of economic disruption. The Marines pulling off the front line. And this is, with the Marines out of position, this is where they can regroup with the additional Mulisks and allow these Zerglings to swing and attack that front. So let's see if they swing across and rejoin. The Zerglings now pressing the natural expansion so two-pronged attack. The Mutalisks, unfortunately, eating a lot of fire as they're waking, making their way across. And now working on that turret at that natural. So the turret goes down. The Marines still having trouble getting here. The Mutalisks not joining in the fray. It looks like they ate a lot of damage as they just flew across a bunch of turrets and a lot of Marines. So that, that attack repelled. So Advil defends well. I think Rancor a little bit impatient with his Mutalisk. If he had just angled them uh, around, or maybe even waited a half second, he might have been able to capitalize and even end the game right there. Instead, loses. So he takes out a turret. He takes out a natural. He got a handful of kills, but he lost at least a Mutalisk. He does have a third base up and running, but this is now starting to move in the space of the match where Rancor does not perform as solidly. Sitting at 24 drones currently, he's got level 1 weapons about halfway finished. Three barracks are up, level one weapons about halfway done as well. And we do have Stimpak already in play and range upgrading. So there is going to be room here for Rancor with his grouped up eight Mutalisks to potentially get some harassment done before the Marines have range and anything else. He's very rapidly behind. So nice finding uh, the turret placement to go ahead and pick away at these turrets. Being aggressive here, the Marines going to go ahead and push that back. Additional Sunken Colony being dropped down, which suggests he wants to just be even more aggressive. Queen's Nest at the third base, so he does want to make his way towards Hive sooner rather than later. So kind of more of a standard uh, three-base Zerg meta these days. Pseudo, not exactly crazy Zerg. Let's see if Rancor also drops the Hydralist Den behind this. It looks like he's going to try to skip the Hydralist Den, I believe. He is grabbing that third gas and just try to defend with the Mutalisks he has in the air. Fifth Barracks being added. Level 1 Weapons... Not too far from being complete. And I'm wondering once level one weapons finishes, if Advil is going to continue to try to play a little bit more defensively or if he's going to start pressing out in the field. Hive is on the way. Rancor trying to skip Lurker Tech in between. And Advil still very much in a defensive position where he's not going to be able to punish Rancor for skipping that Lurker Tech. In the meantime, some Zerglings being fielded. Oftentimes that is important when you are skipping Lurkers to just have sufficient units and Advil a ways off getting that initial science vessel out to really neutralize this Mutalisk threat. So everything going right for Rancor as far as his long-term game plan. He's still 28 drones uh, versus 40 SCVs here. So behind economically. However, Advil's not in a position where he feels like he can go ahead and grab a third. That third gas is up and mining. And Hive is just about finished. Also, Evolution Chamber has been pumping this entire time. Looks like it's already getting that Carapace upgrade. So I do believe this is going to be an attempt at a quick tech switch to Ultralisk. Still more Mutalisks being fielded. This is a very difficult to defend gas. So Advil moving the Medic Marines in there is going to end up... I'm surprised the Medic didn't get picked off there. He actually went for the Marine. Yeah, and you can just see where it's very challenging... 
to group up and defend this gas. So Advil just eating damage while Rancor continues to press tech in the back of this, trying to actually expend Comsat to catch these Mutalisks over the high ground. And this is where having earlier science vessels might have been an advantage. There's the factory. I still, and this is the other thing about this map is it's very compact. So it's difficult to, to build this. And Rancor just fantastically picking off Marine after Marine after Marine in the back of that base. Greater Spire morphing in. So I take it back. I thought this was going to be a shift to uh, Ultralisk because of this Carapace upgrade. Adrenal glands are being upgraded, but it looks like Rancor wants to take another shot at ending the game early by wiping out this natural expansion with Zerglings and air units. But the air units to follow are going to be Guardians. And because, so double starport being built, but that Greater Spire, I don't know. We'll see how this works out. I don't know that there's going to be enough Irradiate to deal with all of the Guardians. And as long as Rancor splits those troops up, plus the second gas going down, this is a next level play, I feel like, from Rancor. He's like, I know I'm going to be able to deny this second gas. And that is going to limit the amount of Science Vessels or Wraith or Valkyrie or any anti-air unit that are going to be able to be fielded. Lifting off right there. So this is the first control tower. Science facility still not finished. So that's being built. And the Greater Spire is just about complete. So I think Rancor just really playing this well. And Advil stumbling. He's still got a 20 supply lead. But three bases have been up for a considerable amount of time. Level 2 armor is going to be coming online here. For Advil, Rancor still microing this. And you can just see Advil is just banging his head against the wall, I think, dealing with these Marines. Another mule is wiped out. Still eight on the ground. Greater Spire is finished. And I'm waiting for... Yeah, there's the full Guardian Morph. There's still Zerglings with Adrenal Upgrades behind this. And they do have Carapace 1 that'll be there momentarily. And on top of that, we do have an Ultralisk Cavern at that third base with additional hatcheries being planted. <clears throat> Rancor still at 37 units. Advil feeling a brief reprieve. Science Vessel is about halfway finished. They're not even going to be fielded by the time these Guardians are attacking this natural expansion. An Overlord looks like it might get caught. I think that might have been the Overlord that was intended to be grouped with the Guardians. The Guardians, one of them a little bit too far out. So looks like it might get picked off. It does not even get picked off. Another Guardian, yeah, trying to regroup back to that corner. And the Marines just getting obliterated. Advil needs to go all in. The Zerglings diving in. With their Adrenal Upgrades and Carapace 1, things are falling apart for Advil rapidly. Between this spread, and it was a, finally a Science Vessel is out there. Some Wraith being built, but it does not matter. Because this natural expansion is completely breached. Marines desperately trying to field it. It's going to be SCV versus Zergling. There is a bunker right there, but two medics are in that bunker, which is not what Advil was looking for. So Rancor looks like he's going to be able to penetrate this natural expansion easily and wipe out pretty much everything else on the field. More Marines trying to field up. Advil in a desperate position, refusing to GG because this is, in fact, the final match. Some Wraith have been produced. Irradiate's being dropped to clear out the Guardians, but I think the damage has been done. Rancor also taking that 4 o'clock base. Finishing the Ultralisk Carapace upgrade. Has an, a sizable, well, a decent enough bank. 35 drones, a little bit less saturated than wanted to be. He does have a second evolution chamber, but Ultralisks are now fielded. And Wraith do not do well. So despite what it may seem, Wraith, because they do shoot ground and Ultralisks can't attack the air. Ultralisks do not do particularly well. Or uh, Wraith do not do particularly well against Ultralisks, particularly when they have that bonus... Uh, armor upgrade versus just level one armor. So a bunch of Zerglings, a bunch of Ultralisks incoming. The one advantage for Rancor is this is coming in a little bit piecemeal. Looks like he is going to go ahead and regroup. But as soon as the war and a Mutalisks also running overhead. But even just having these two Ultralisks with this grouping, because it was such a small amount, that's just allowing the Zerglings to get a lot of damage done as well. No cloak on the Wraith. The Wraith being picked off by the Mutalisks overhead. And once again, Advil's base, his natural expansion breached before he was even able to reestablish his gas. The Wraith actually faring pretty well against those Mulus in the air. A siege tank was produced behind this. Siege tech desperately trying to get researched. The science vessels might be able to drop another radiate to clear this out. The SCV's heroically blocking that natural. 
But Rancor still flooding in more units, macking behind us. An air fleet has re-engaged this. I don't know why the Ultra seems content to attack that commsat station. Take that commsat station. Scourge pressing forward. The science vessel trying to hide over the barracks. One of them getting wiped out. And the siege tank looks like it's going to be able to back a little bit of this off. And Irradiate being dropped. That just makes the Ultralis more powerful. And I don't know that this command center is going to survive these two Zerglings in the midst of this. It is just chaos at the natural expansion. The Zerglings now working on that refinery. Another Guardian being morphed. I think this science vessel will have eventually enough energy. And there's enough else to kind of defend that. But Rancor just basically rallying troops straight to the natural of Advil. Another science vessel moving forward. So Advil able to retake his natural expansion. I think potentially knowing Rancor style that he doesn't macro up very well, still holding in this. He's actually only 10 supply down, which is shocking. Absolutely shocking, but there's still plenty of uh, work house. I guess what I want to call them here. Ultralisks out here. Advil uh, all in, pressing in with what he's got because his main, yeah, his reinforcements cut a split in twain. The science vessel is going to get wiped out as well. And I think this might be the last hurrah. As that's level 4 carapace, level 1 melee weapons versus still 1-1 one, one marines. And if it wasn't over earlier, it's certainly over now. The guardians that have morphed over that corner, walking in, getting a lot of kills on that natural expansion once again. The siege tanks are not long for this life. And honestly, they might end up killing some of their own allies. Huge supply lead now for Rancor. Sizable worker lead, and he's mining at four bases versus just the, I'm going to call this a half base at this stage, for Advil. Still some turrets on the low ground. Yeah, and Rancor just moving in troops back and forth. Some Hydralisks in the midst of this as well. More Guardians morphing in. I like the Comsat. An Ultralisk looks like it's going to get irradiated and do some damage. Killing some Zerglings doesn't even care. In the midst of this, the SEVs just sacrificing their own body to block the ramp here. And additional hatcheries going up for Rancor. This is basically one game. But Advil trying to hold on. Did he even have... Yeah, he hasn't bothered with upgrades from this stage on. He is going to end up getting mined out. The mineral is coming in very, very slowly at this stage of things. But just trying to field an army, I think for... Looking for the moral victory here. The Guardians looking to peek forward to wipe out these siege tanks on the low ground. The SCVs getting cleared out right there. Hydralisks moving forward. They're able to walk into that breach of Marines. And Irradiate dropped once again, but not before. Basically every tank that was sieged is wiped out. One new tank on the ground moving out there. The Ultralisks and Zerglings and Hydralisks in the background just waiting for the queue to go. More reinforcements streaming down. And Avil, once again, trying to re-grab his natural expansion with Wraith Science Vessels, Marines, and a single siege tank. And he's mined out at his main. As that happens, Rancor pressing to that natural expansion, once again forcing a lift off. I think Advil just wants to get the moral victory of being able to mine briefly at his natural expansion. He is distance mining here. But the Ultralisks walking in, wiping out absolutely everything. It looks like that Guardian was cleared out. No group repair on this command center, though. So it looks like it is going to explode in the air. Siege tank on the low ground still being frustrating to go ahead and defend this. But SCV's trying to distance mine in the midst of tank shells, marines, and zerglings flooding absolutely everywhere. It is once again a chaotic scene at the natural expansion. A mix of purple and brown. The SCV's finally going battle. And there, there is GG from Advil. So Rancor, I feel like playing very, very well. Doing exactly what he needed to do to win this match. And he will advance to the round of eight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.